Matthias, I really enjoy coming to companies that manufacture here in the UK, and certainly on the scale that you do here. You're one of the very few remaining machine tool manufacturers. Um, how has the past 18 months been for you here at Heller? I have to say, like probably everybody in the industry says, most challenging. I'm very proud to say we never stopped, so we continued completely through the pandemic. And I think it's very positive now to see, at least in the last quarter, we see a really turnaround in the market. Now, for those that don't know how much production is happening of machine tools, how many are going out the door, and what could people see if they came here to Redditch? We are producing here the four and five access machining centers of the Heller Group, the small and medium machines, which we call them. For some, they are still quite large. Uh, so that's the HF series and H medium machines. And we usually ship around 200 machines per year out of this facility. We've got two flow lines. So if you calculate, we've got more than four machines leaving each week our facility and go from here out to the world. So it's not only the UK, it's Europe, it's Asia, it's Americas. It's depending where the customer wants the machines. And, and people talk about the Japanese as being state-of-the-art machine tool manufacturers. But you go in here, Matthias, and I'm not seeing any different. You know, th th this really is forefront of how you produce production lines of, of quality products, isn't it? Yeah, thanks. Um, I think it is. Um, I think you always need to try to improve continuous improvement. And I mean, I've been here in the UK for seven years now. And I think if I would take a snapshot each year how the company has developed, you will see each year changes. And I think that's one of the things is you can't stand still. You can't stand still when you look on the product, but I think you need to reflect on your own process processes as well in order to keep on track and in order to improve. And one of the things that I've learned um, in, my, in my day here today is about how uh, these machines, uh, Hella can be perceived, and you guys have said it yourselves, as an expensive machine out of the reach of some general engineering businesses. But that, that's not true, is it? I mean, some of the, the costs of ownership and the things we've been talking about today bring them to a level where people may actually be able to have a Heller five-axis machine. We've got a few customers in the UK who probably said six, seven years ago, I can't afford a Heller machine. They say no. I can't afford to not have one. And this is over the lifetime of the machine. It's productivity, it's quality, and it's operational cost. Mm. Um, the next six months to a year is gonna, be, is gonna be key, isn't it? You're experiencing this growth at the moment. Is it gonna be sustained, Matthias? And if so, where, are those, where, where, where is that market gonna be? Um, where's the business gonna come from? I haven't got a crystal ball. I mean, all what I see at the moment, and usually we've got a quite good look view on the market long term when people want to invest, we don't see it breaking up. Um, there are outside factors which nobody can influence at the moment, and we started with pandemic, and I think, you know, let's hope we have it under control, and it's not only stabilizing at the moment, it is stabilized, that what the economy needs, then I see really good signs because we have a lot of challenges, especially with changing environments. The focus, I think, also of machine tools will change much more dramatically in the future when it comes to sustainability, when it comes to our effect on climate. And this will have definitely, with the new energy, new challenges also for machine tools. Which you're perfectly placed to satisfy, certainly with the a technology, the unmanned running, yeah. uh, the quality, the longevity, all of those things fall right into your yeah. hands, don't they? I think sometimes, you know, we spoke about digitalization for a long time and have products available. And, and sometimes I'd like to say, you know, three years ago, it was seen as a nice to have. Now you see it's essential. So again, the solution is there. The response to the market is now a totally different one than it was three years ago.